um, and they're black folks who used to live here, used to rent here, used to own homes here. And so now we got black folks who are already targeted by the police. Now black homeless folks that are targeted by the police even more. It's another intersection that's getting crossed. And so what happens, so we live in this country, in a society, even in a city, that has a lot of hatred towards black folks. There's a lot of, I don't want to see that there. I don't have to, I pay too much money, I shouldn't have to see homeless people. Oh, look at all the trash. They associate homeless people with trash. They associate homeless people <clears throat> with being criminal. They associate homeless people with everything that's at the bottom of this world. And I just want to say that many homeless people, I'm homeless. I'm homeless and I have a 30-year-old catering business here in Oakland, California. I'm homeless and my kids are all in college. I'm homeless and I'm a program director of a 65-year-old human rights institute that reports directly to the United Nations. So don't make assumptions about who's homeless in Oakland because these are new times. Working class folks, people who've owned homes, people who've rented homes are homeless because all this money for development is going towards people who don't even live here yet. So on the streets, you already have you know, this um, stigma against homelessness. And police tend to, to believe, a lot of police are just anti-homeless. They just, they're haters to start with. And for some reason, like the rest of society, they have extra hate for homeless people. And they also take extra uh, liberties with homeless people because they already know that no one is going to bother them. No one's going to care. And so, as a woman, you're already out there on your own. Um, of course, you, I'm going to say it. I'm sure other women here, women identified women here, understand the issue of rape, that it is on a whole nother level. Right now, the city's trying to actually take away everyone's wooden homes, any kind of home that is not a tent. The city of Oakland is currently trying to take away, including RVs and cars and whatnot. So now, women who are out here who have been able to house themselves building or having someone build a whole home for them, have an RV, have a camper. Me and my family, we stay in a camper. The city's trying to say that we're not allowed to stay in that camper. If we lose that camper, me and my daughters are going to be on the streets in a tent. So you just the level of rape that happens, there are very few homeless women I've met who have not been raped. Hey, what's up? Hey, y'all. This is my family right here. 